Hello everyone, I'm Kat. Welcome to my channel. You have arrived. For today's video, I have a Rizos Curls wash day. So I got a whole bunch of Rizos Curls products to show off today. Also, I have a part one video of a holiday makeup look. So if you want to check that out, click the link down below. But if you do enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. All right, time to hop into this Rizos Curls wash day plus a couple extra things. Alrighty, one of the extra things that I like to do is use a detoxifying scalp scrub from Rockin. I love, love, love this scalp scrub. I um, came across it through Curly Locks Box and then I did find them on Instagram. So I finally got my hands on this and this scalp scrub is so amazing. Also, they finally have it in a flip cap or a little cap here. Oh, it's wonderful. It used to be like in a little tub. This was genius who decided to go to the squeeze bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding that. I just like to section off my curls because it's just easier for me to get to my scalp when I just have all my hair down and crazy. It's a lot harder to get to my scalp. So once I got the bottom half, I'm going to move on to the top half. Just work it in, scrub it really good with the pads of my fingers. And then once I have all of that nice and applied, I'm going to keep it on my scalp for 10 minutes. Oh, and yes, my curls are dry as you can see. I don't wet my hair for this. I apply it to dry curls. And then after about 10 minutes, I am going to rinse it out. Whoa, well, really quick. I'm not taking you into the shower with me. So I want to share with you what I am going to use in the shower. So once I rinse out the scalp scrub, I am going to use some of that head and shoulders. Get another good scrub in my head. Then I'm going to jump into the Rizos curls. I am going to start with the deep conditioner and then to the shampoo. I do that sometimes. And this is one of the particular wash days that I did. When I use the conditioner, I am going to use the flexi brush to detangle and to get the product evenly through my curls. And then when I use the shampoo, Shampoo, I'm going to pick up this scalp massager right here, also from Riso's Curls, and I'm going to get a really good scalp scrub for my scalp. Then um, I am going to apply my mask here in the shower. So I split my hair in two parts, add that, and let's quickly do that. So I am back, I got my hair all washed, and I have the mask on my hair. <laughs> so I got the two buns. Now I'd like to wrap my hair first with a clear shower cap. So I'm going to go ahead and get this going, pop that on, and then I like to bring some heat. This is one of my favorite, favorite things that I added to my wash day was getting a heat cap and it is from Thermal Vibes and it is right here. This one is a Betty Boop themed heat cap. I absolutely love it. So I have two heat caps. I just kind of flip between the two, give them a good, you know, wash day. You can take out the little heating pad on the inside and toss the rest into the washing machine to make sure that you are constantly cleaning and making sure your heat cap is ready for the next wash day. So I got it on. It is all nice and hot, heated up. I'm going to leave it on for 30 minutes. And once that is done, I'm going to hop back in the shower, remove both caps and rinse out my mask prevent the products um, that I'm going to style with from getting on my clothes or if I had like a tank top or something from it getting on my skin I'm going to put on and clip here a microfiber towel from the Curly Co. Time for the products. I'm going to use two products uh, to style from Oriso's Curls. This is their Curl Defining Cream. It smells amazing. I'm going to apply that one first and then this is one of their within this past year or so they have the light hold gel. I was so excited when they came out with it. Very very excited. So starting with the defining cream and then the gel. Before adding the product to my curls, I like to split my hair half up, half down. Then I'm going to make some smaller sections. Here I am adding the defining cream in with some raking, sometimes occasional prayer hands, and a little bit of scrunching. Once I have the defining cream applied, I'm then immediately going to add the gel. Same application, raking, maybe some prayer hands, and of course some occasional scrunching. Then the section that I just added the product to, I'm gonna split in smaller sections and use the flexi brush to style a little more. So I like to brush it through a couple times and then I hold my index finger right to the side there of the, the base of the bristles and then slide the hair through the brush in my hand so it's nice and smooth, shake it out, and then continue on with the defining cream and the light hold gel and then work in the flexi brush through to smooth it out, shake it out, and continue on. Ooh, and look at that lift. Yes, let's keep it going.
Oh boy, once that is complete, I'm gonna pick up the light hold gel one more time, just a little bit, and I'm gonna work it on the palms of my hands and then just scrunch it over my curls. I wanna say the past couple years I haven't scrunched at all lately. I've been scrunching a little bit more recently just because. So sometimes I scrunch, sometimes I don't. Just depends on how I feel. Then picking up that microfiber towel, or I should say taking it off, and then I use it to scrunch out some of the excess water just makes things um, help when drying. So I'm gonna air dry probably, let's see, for about one, no, 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 maybe two. I'll go ahead and dry for two hours. While my hair was air drying, I went ahead and did a nice holiday glam makeup look. So these are my about, about a couple of hour dried curls. I'm removing my Zazzy band. It's a really nice squared headband that's great for curly hair. And then it's time to diffuse. Use my Revlon blow dryer and my collapsible diffuser from the Curly Co. I'm gonna go ahead off camera and dry. And then once that is done, I use some hair and body oil from That's That Magic, pick my curls out, and here are the finished curls. I don't like to pick too much and separate too much on the first day because it just helps my curls um, last a little longer. But these are my holiday curls and who I mean, I cannot be upset with these curls. I love Oriso's curls and they are such a go-to wash day for me. Thanks for checking out my part two holiday hair video. If you haven't checked out my part one holiday glam video, be sure to click the link down in the description box. I'll have that there for you if you are interested. And all of my curl friends and my makeup lovers, I hope you guys will come back next week and into the new year 2023 for some more curl videos, makeup videos, and some new nail videos. Thanks again for watching. I hope you all take care. Happy, happy new year and stay merry. Oh my god, I'm gonna look like I'm crying. <laughs>